After more than four hours of preparation, it's time to go in. Following a safety line, we make the descent in stages. But as soon as we get down to 25 meters, it's breathtaking. I can clearly see the tracks leading down into the tunnel. And the flatbed trucks, just like the ones Elizabeth would have traveled down on. The steam engine and its now broken drive belt would have powered the haulage lifts. Gear wheels would have formed part of the winch to lift the slabs of slate onto the trucks. And then I come across something much more poignant. Written on the walls are names. E. Hughes, 1938. Ted, and the initials E.T.J. These are probably the names of the rockmen who were once in charge of drilling and blasting specific parts of the quarry. The tally marks would have been their way of keeping track of each truckload of slate sent to the surface. I've found more than I could have hoped for. As visibility deteriorates, we decide to call it a day. Whoa. What an experience, what an incredible window into our industrial past. And especially the writing on the wall, where you brought home the history of the place to me. And though it was a pretty technical and tricky dive, it's nothing compared to the hazardous conditions those quarrymen would have faced working down there day in, day out.